guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Arissa and this is Arissa Root Art. And I am doing another Dutch pour. I really, really loved my last video and I wanna repeat the process, not the outcome, because that one's obviously a gray background. This background is this color and I'll tell you about that in a moment, but I wanna say thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back. I am working with seven colors, yes. <laughs> seven colors and white like I did in my last video I really really loved how that white added contrast this time I put it in a squeeze bottle to make it easier but let me show you my base color so the bulk of my base color is the Liquitex basics the light blue violet which is gorgeous love that color but to it I added a little bit of the prism pour in the northern northern sky which is super super pretty I added a little bit of the um, Liquitex Basics Silver, and I also added a little bit of the Artist Loft Iridescent Medium. This stuff went on sale like months ago, months and months and months ago. It went on clearance actually, and it was $2 and you couldn't find it, but I went to a um, Michael's <laughs> near my home in Puyallup, Washington. Good luck spelling that one if you're not from Washington. But they had like eight of them and they didn't have them marked for $2, but they were $2. And so I bought all of them because I was in the know that those were discontinued. Woohoo! So <laughs> all that to say that I have this beautiful base color, which is lovely in my little bitty eyes. I love it. Now my colors I'm going to use, I'm using some of the last colors, most of the last colors that I'm using. And this is the order in which I'm going to use them. I still have my Liquitex Basic Silver with a little bit of Sterling Silver in it. Yes. No. This one's, yeah. Actually, that one, that is what this is. It's Liquitex Basic sil Silver and a Sterling Silver. I still have my Permanent Blue Violet, which I'm going to use um, near the base because I want it to contrast with this, but I don't want it to be my only dark color. I still have the, what is this one called? Sh Misty, so Satin Doll, sorry. The Satin Doll by Color Art, Prism Pour. This is the color I added. Oh, I love this color so much, but it's a mix. So this is the Midnight Shadow by Color Art, Prism Pour, but I, I need to get some more. I need to order some more because this is so beautiful, but I only had a little bit. So to it, I added a little bit of the Payne's Gray by Color Art, the primary element, to get a beautiful blue. And I also have, what was this one again? This is the Misty Veil. It's a veil, it's a prism pour by Color Art and their pearl line that just came out. My iridescent blue green by Pebeo, and then my quinacridone magenta by Laquitex Basics. And this was my white, which is the Artist Loft Floor Acrylic White that I'm just gonna add around my colors. I have a little bit more of my base coat to do my edges, but also to add around the colors. <laughs> I think that's enough. I'm gonna blow out my base here. I'm using a different bow dryer too. That my other one is just so big to kind of control. And so I'm just gonna use my little travel blow dryer. It's really powerful and I love it. It's it's a Berta, I think it's, it's taped up. I think it's called Berta. I love that little dryer. So let's get cracking here and I'm gonna put my base coat down. So cue the music. or in frame here. Now move you if you're not. Yeah, you're pretty good. Let me move you just a little bit. Perfect. Okay, 
I'm gonna bust some bubbles because there's a lot of them. Because I just mix my paint, 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 paint. Get my towel out of the way. All right, I want to see how much of the base coat is left on here because I tilted it. So I don't want to have too much on there, but I want to see if it's moving. And it is moving, so I'm gonna let that run. And actually, I'm gonna tilt this way because this edge over here could use some help. So I'm gonna let it run off of here this way. Almost there. I don't wanna run all of it off, but I do wanna run a lot of it off. So I don't have too much paint left on the canvas. get this because while I'm tilting I see a little chunk you know how that works they disappear on you when you put your paint down get out of there there we go okay moving that back up and throw a little bit more on the edges here just to even out the paint a bit where it's absent. There we go. There, that will dry. That will, I should say, dry smooth. Lee, one more torch. All right, and I think I'm gonna this time try to keep my bloom more in the middle and not so much off the sides. Let me get my big daddy torch here. There's some bubbles not wanting to come out. So when I put my colors down, I'm not gonna go so close to the edge because I wanna remain some, have some remain on there. So I'm gonna start with my silver for now. And I wiggled it on purpose. I like a little wiggle. And then my permanent blue violet. I'm already about to get my braids in it. I did this last time too. I gotta put those away. There we go. And in my satin doll. I don't know why I can never remember the name. It's weird. The satin doll. And oh, my beautiful, beautiful mixture of the Midnight Shadows and the Payne's Gray. Ooh, gosh, this color is gorgeous, you guys. And my Misty Veil. Ooh, my Beaver Chuck. There we go. And then my Iridescent Blue Green. And lastly, my quinacridone magenta, because it's beautiful and it's a fabulous. Oh gosh, this is such a pretty color. Alrighty, <laughs> I'm excited. So I'm guessing the reason I chose these colors is that I'm gonna blow them more along the line with my blow dryer rather than fanning them out. But with the colors that I've chosen, no matter how much they mix, they're not going to turn to brown. They're not going to turn to like muddy gray or anything like that, which is why I blended these colors. Because whatever way you combine these colors, they make another pretty color. So I'm hoping that just will make it so my colors stay vibrant, first of all, and pretty when I blow this out. So I'm going to put my white around it like I did yesterday, on my last video, I should say which was yesterday for me, not for you all. And then one more here. Then I'm gonna put some more of my base coat around that white. It's so fun. It's so pretty. 
And then torch and torch and torch. Big torch is going to die. I'm gonna double fist it here. Let's see. <laughs> that was just fun. I felt like like a cowgirl, <laughs> even though I missed some bubbles. <laughs> All right, wish me luck. <laughs> here I go. Y'all, 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 y'all. Oh my gosh, I need to look at it through the camera because I love it so much through my eyes. I need to see what you're seeing. Oh my gosh, you can't even see the gloriness, gloriousness of this piece. This is beautiful, beautiful. Like it just needs to stop now because I don't want to touch anything because it's beautiful. <laughs> like, oh, I love it. Really take off my gloves because I'm gonna blow just one or two spots that I see. One, yeah, two spots that I see, but I need to really hold my hair back so it doesn't touch this time and my apron. So, right there. And right there. And that one, I'm just gonna make it higher to match that just a little bit. And that's it. That's it. I love this. I'm lying. Right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love, love this. I made torch one spot right there. Just a little torch. There we go. Just to bring some color. And wake it up. Oh, guys, oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna take this off right here. It's so pretty. I'm done. I'm done touching it. It's so pretty. <laughs> Just, let me get you down. I'll show you. One moment. Okay, guys. I may become Dutch poor obsessed because this is stunning, 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 stunning. Look how gorgeous. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look how beautiful the colors have come out. And I'm so glad I added that Midnight Shadows Plains Gray mix because that rich blue in there is just, oh, it's so amazing. And that that mag magenta, as it peeks through those different beautiful colors, oh my gosh, I love, love, love this. I absolutely think this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm super excited. I cannot wait. Oh, look at that. That one's cute. It looks like a weird hook nose. <laughs> I like it. But I cannot wait. Oh my gosh, to see this dry and beautiful. Oh, look at all the little details. It's so stunning. Oh, I love this. I'm gonna have to do more. I'm 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 falling for Dutch pours again. I used to love doing them and then I stopped for a bit. But I am falling for them again. Look how gorgeous these are. It's straight up ridiculous how beautiful this is. Look at the eek. I mean eek for real. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, but ah, almost tripping. What am I tripping on? My stool. Let me know what you think. Let me show you in the light as it flashes again. Ready? I can do it. Ah, 
that. Look how beautiful that is, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.